Hi guys, and welcome back to Trendy Mommy. This holiday season is around the corner, and we're coming to you with some yummy appetizers that are perfect for your get-togethers. Preheat the oven at around 390 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius, and let's get started. This video is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. We'll learn more about them later in the video. Number one, wrapped asparagus appetizer. The ingredients are puff pastry, egg wash, which is an egg yolk beaten with water, sesame seeds, bacon, and fresh asparagus. Start by cutting off the end of the asparagus. Then roll a slice of bacon around each of them. Now cut long stripes off the pastry sheet with a knife and roll the pastry piece around the asparagus in a spiral. Then place on the tray before brushing them with the egg wash. If you need an egg wash recipe, check out the link in the description box. Now sprinkle with sesame seeds and bake for 15 minutes until puffed and golden brown. Number two, baskets. Ingredients, puff pastry, egg wash, and dairy-free cream cheese, a salad, we used arugula and cooked bacon. With the help of a muffin cup as a measuring guide, cut squares out of the pastry sheet. Arrange the cuts in the cupcake liners. Then brush with the egg wash. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes until puffed and golden brown. Then fill the baskets with arugula, dairy-free cream cheese, and top with a slice of bacon in a rose spiral shape. Before we continue with the tutorial, we wanted to share a few words about our sponsor, Omaha Steaks. If you don't know what you want to cook the next time your friends and family visit, Omaha Steaks gives you the perfect solution. They sell deliverable, ready to cook and serve meals that feature fan favorites, including mouth-watering steaks, juicy burgers, chicken, pork, sides, and even seafood. You can also order desserts, like their cheesecake sampler, which includes four classic flavors, or opt for one of their cakes or pies. They even provide custom packages, which is our favorite feature because you can mix and match their best offerings. Once you order from Omaha Steaks, they'll pack it up and deliver it right to your door. All you need to do is take it out, cook it to your taste, and serve. If you want to give it a try, we'll leave a link in the description box for your convenience. Number three, flour vol au vent. Ingredients, puff pastry, egg wash, dried tomatoes with oil, cooked spinach, and dairy-free cream cheese. Cut the pastry with the cookie cutter. Now, to half of the cutouts, create a second hole in the center. Glaze the cutouts with egg wash. Carefully arrange the cutouts with the holes on top of the ones without holes. The top layer will adhere to the glaze easily. Place them on the tray and bake until puffed and golden, about 15 to 20 minutes. Once they are ready, push the center down with the back of a teaspoon. Mix the spinach and the dairy-free cream cheese. 
Then fill flour vol au vent. To finish, top with some dried tomatoes. Number four, shells with pearls. Ingredients, puff pastry, egg wash, chives, boiled quail eggs, and shrimp. Cut rectangles out of the pastry. If the pastry sheet is too thin, double the layer like we did then. Cut out the edges with a small bottle cap or a cutter to that size. Then press the bottom of the shell with two fingers and with the help of a knife, press on the pastry gently to create the lines. Don't cut all the way through. Repeat this process as many times as necessary. Trust the process. Now place them on the tray and brush them with the egg wash. Then bake for 10 minutes and let them cool while you work on the filling. Chop up the chives, then mix with the shrimps. Cut the quail eggs in a diagonal line. Leave the pretty ones to recreate the pearls. Then continue to cut into smaller pieces to add into the mixture. Now, carefully make a horizontal cut that doesn't go all the way through on the shell Then fill in the mixture before placing the pearl as a final touch. Repeat with the remaining shells. Number five. Pesto pinwheels. Ingredients, puff pastry, egg wash, dried tomatoes with oil, and pesto sauce. Spread a thin layer of pesto sauce on the pastry sheet. Sprinkle some pieces of sun-dried tomatoes, chopping them if needed. If you have dried tomatoes without oil, you should saturate the tomatoes or a few minutes in water or oil. Then, roll the puff pastry sheet into a tight log, seam side down. And slice the pastry into one inch rounds. Now place the pinwheels on a baking paper sheet and brush them with the egg wash. Bake for 20 minutes until puffed and golden brown. We hope these recipes bring a lot of holiday cheer to your table. If you want more great meal ideas, please check out the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great holiday season.